podcast. Hey YouTube. Hey all my horror fanatics and ho- hey anyone else that decides to watch us. It's Bailey Horror here with someone special tonight. Safety Sam. It's my boyfriend. He's lame. It's whatever. Um, we're gonna attempt to play The Walking Dead. Uh, we're kind of like, what would you consider the setup? Um, it's laying on the <laughs> carpet floor with frame rates from hell. <laughs> and my headset between us because I couldn't get this to work. <laughs> so, hopefully you guys know what The Walking Dead is. Um, this is pretty much just a tell, 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 words. Words. On I'm working on it. Uh, the telltale story where it's just like, you know, follow along. Everyone's played it. Shut the fuck up. I won't kill you. Not really. If you're a zombie, I probably would. We went standard because I'm a wimp. Get all the wires out of the way. Gosh. Thank you. I want this thing. Make it lucky. Ow! I can't. Oh, my body. I'm alright. Let's get started on the first episode. Oh, six frame rates. Oh, God. That's okay. We got this. This is... This is God. Be, this is disaster. You're a disaster. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored all to how you play. Too slow. It's 20. We're good. We got this. I can still see 20. 20's back. So intense. You haven't even watched the TV show. So it doesn't like, matter. Why, why do you even get to play this? Because this has nothing to do with the TV show. So much. <laughs> You're fascinating with the number of the You are too. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Um. Oh, good. Oh, I have time. Damn it. Uh, you know what they say about. Let's do the silent treatment. No! <laughs> Two. You know what they say about reckoning? I don't, but I reckon it's a lot like assuming. Yeah, something like that. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? No, every Silent treatment. No! Anything every time? Anything. Every time. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. Um, so you got into, No, from Macon, one. You're from Macon, then. I yep, came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell. The whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Be advised, uh, medical personnel and the heart of the old period of 10 to 20 coming in. This is still taking a I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. I'm a soft person. Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Oh. Number two. Or she married the wrong guy. Let's go, fuck you. No. Thank you. <laughs> Any of that seem important to you? All of them. That box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. 
he wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Are available for you coming to one. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I'll tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other guy... <laughs> Myself out that window. We got this. Wait, is the door okay? Two. There we go. Let's do this. I'm just gonna cut yourself. Oh my god. Nope. We did it. See? Success. Yeah, they just made a bunch of noise now. Just rang the dinner bell. We don't know that there are zombies yet. You know, uh. We don't. Uh. There's a shotgun over there. I mean, that's Why would he have needed that? It's not like unicorn kisses and tickles. You're right. Uh, 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 you operate a shotgun handcuff? Looks empty. No. You have a shell. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs on. Oh my god. I know what happens. Officer? God damn. Sir? Let's go look at someone who's dead. Obviously. They're obviously dead. You know, just... Looking. This is gonna be great. You prepared to watch me die? <laughs> like, no joke. Come to the conclusion that you don't know how to strafe. Get me out of here? Oh. Walk away Shit. from the frickin'... <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is why you walk away from... Of course, after you get the handcuffs 
that's the vent hole. This is like annoyingly every yep. We're ready. Uh, Officer. Uh, crap. Uh, 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 holy oh shit! Oh my god. What in the hell? What the fuck are you? Oh, Get yeah. away from me! Where is it? Grab it. Come on. I have limited space right now! I'm trying! <laughs> We're gonna die. Don't make me do this! That's why you gotta protect me. <laughs> I killed him. I would've quit the game. I would've stopped recording and quit the game. Like, no. You can't disown your girlfriend. Oh, we got an achievement! Out of the frying pan. The skin's all rotten and he smells like shit. What the hell is this? Apparently, way too long. Hey! Are you dead? Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! Oh, crap. Oh god. I'm having lag. Lag. Oh god! Ah! Oh my god, we're so screwed. Ah! <laughs> with some bourbon if I could. <laughs> no ladder. I'm not getting up there hey, anyway. Hey, he just survived. Just the way it is. So much. Let him. Help! Let him bitch. So is there an alternate image for this? Or? Yeah. Every choice you make differs. The story. Anybody up there? If anybody's home. It's out by a zombie and you die. <laughs> Go to hell. How'd you die? Go up and see if Peter's asking us how did you die? Uh pulls our Mommy got me. Hello! Anybody home? I need a little help. Did you open it? Is there anybody here? Coming uh, in. It's a zombie apocalypse. Don't shoot, okay? Hello? 
I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. What? These people might need oh, wild to The game is beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh. That beeping. Microwave. Something's done in the microwave. Right, I can't even click on it. That's what my microwave does. That beeps like that. Mine doesn't. Come here, come here. You just grabbed it and didn't check what it was. <laughs> it's out of water. Both of those <sighs> yeah. It could have been poison. Well, it doesn't matter. Okay. I feel like we're really shock right now. <laughs> we kind of are. Scavenging. I love Bioshock way too much. Shh. You're shushing me? Neighborhood is deserted. What the hell? Okay, I'm done. Come on, walk. There we go. go to the I'm going to the damn message. You want to go sightseeing? And Ooh. <laughs> Furniture overturned, blood everywhere. I can see it. Sir. Jesus. Read the messages. I'm There's checking them. On there. Calm your boner. guy near the hotel so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out anyway he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight so we're staying an extra day thanks so much for looking after Clementine and I promise we'll be back in time before the spring break That's message 2 left at 11.19pm oh my god finally I don't know if you tried to reach us all, all the calls are getting dropped they're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Marietta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. This 911. We love you. We love you. Your name. Okay, there we go. I'm Clementine. 
Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. She sounds smarter than the way she's acting. Like they make her have a babysitter, but she can. She can Where are your parents? Well, they took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Oh god. two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights ago? Yeah, that's probably what happened. Aww. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. She's so cute. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look parents after you until then. Shh. What should we do now? Um, should we look for help or get out here as soon as once sun goes down? Go by night or go by day? Go by day. Go by day. Day by day. You never go out at night. We need to find help before it gets dark. That's true. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Okay, this is a stopping point. Guys, I don't want to hit escape. It's gonna like you know, throw you out Save is every load screen. Is it? Hopefully. I hope so. Well, it's over again. 